Mint chocolate chip ice cream. You, you can't have a bad day when you're having that stuff. Whew, don't really need it though, but hey, we got a darts review to get to, so. <laughs> totally the first take, right? <laughs> the No Door Series 800 darts review starts right now. Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. Another fun video for you today. And best part is, and we love this here on this channel, another super affordable set of darts. So in this video, we'll be taking a close up look at the No Door Series 800 16 gram darts. Now, for those of you that weren't aware or just didn't know, No Door, probably one of the biggest dart companies in the world. They actually own Winmore as well as Red Dragon. So all three of those companies, pretty much the same thing, to be honest with you. And I'll do something fun. Down in the pinned comment, I'm going to leave the link to the No Door catalog. It's an online catalog that they have. So when you look through that catalog, you're gonna notice a lot of darts, a lot of the same darts you see in the Red Dragon catalog as well as the Winmore catalog. So like I said, all the same thing. But the real reason I'm doing this review today is because back in, I think it was late 2008, 2009, when I started playing darts again, I found these identical set of darts over at a180 and they were labeled as feather lights over there so i bought this set and then i started playing with them i hit one of my all-time tightest 180s and forgive me guys that picture was taken on some flip phone back in 2009 but all three points were stacked right on top of one another one of the like i said one of the tightest 180s i ever hit with this identical set of darts. So yeah, it should be kind of a fun review. Let me grab the other camera. We'll go over some stats and dimensions and then my favorite part of the video, take them to the dartboard, throw them for a little bit and then give you some feedback as I'm doing that. And I'll let you know what I think of the No Door Series 800 steel tip darts. Here we go. Okay, so nothing fancy here, but again, we're paying less than 20 US dollars for these things. As you see, comes in this plastic clamshell case, barrels only, but hey, you do get the point protector, but there they go. The No Door Series 800 darts. You know, I think they would look a little bit better minus the paint. And uh, I might remove that at a later date and post a picture for you guys. But that's all you get. And hey, check this out. Digging through my desk, I happen to find some Cosmo carbon stems. These are the number five with the grooves in them. And some Royden Lamb Super Kite Flights. These are the non-air versions. So we'll be rocking these for the rest of the video, but let's get these things put together. We'll go over some stats and dimensions. All right, there we go, fully set up. And man, that is one good looking set of darts, if I do say so myself, but I might be a little biased with the Cosmo set up there on the back end. However, I do think it would look better minus the paint. Like I said, we'll probably do that at a later date. But writing down some stats and dimensions, these are an 80% tungsten barrel. The barrel length coming in at 43.0 millimeters long and the barrel width, 6.3 millimeters wide running the entire length of this straight barrel dart now check this out guys these were advertised obviously as 16 grams first barrel on the scale 16.06 grams the other two barrels 16.07 grams one one hundredth of a gram off keep in mind 17 dollar darts i just reviewed a set of 50 dollar unicorn darts on my last review and those things were over one-tenth of a gram off. So yeah, match waiting here, just about as good as it gets. Nearly perfect. But what do you say we get a little bit closer look at these barrels? Okay, here we go. A little bit closer look. Although, if I'm being honest with you guys, it's a straight barrel multi-ring dart. Small multi-rings. So there's really not a lot to see here. You know, feeling the grip, I would say it's a level 2 grip on a scale of 1 to 5. However, this might be one of those barrels where if you do remove the paint... The grip might improve slightly. I'm not entirely sure, but maybe if you remove the paint, it goes up to like a level two and a half grip. So there you have it. We got a nicely tapered nose cone. Same problem as with most darts, though. You do have a little bit of a lip where the point meets the barrel. Although, watch how easy I fix that with a Trident, a plastic Trident 180 nose cone. And there you go. Just by sliding that on there, these flights would probably remain perfect for about six to eight months. So that's how much 
that plastic trident nose cone works. It really does a great job. One of the best inventions, probably in the last 10 years, in my opinion. But there we go. There's the No Door Series 800 16 gram darts and those Cosmo stems and flights. Man, those are looking good, right? So yeah, what do you say we get these things on the board? We'll have a little throw and you know how it's going to go. Straight barrel, multi-ring, lightweight dart. I should be smashing in some pretty big scores. So here we go. Okay, guys, pretty excited about this one. So yeah, let's have a few throws and let's hope my form continues. I just had a quick three, four, five minute warm up. Absolutely battering that red trouble 20 up there. So man, what an easy dart to throw. We've got the speed flights on there. So they just get to the board in a hurry. So effortless to throw. Wow, pretty, uh, yeah, pretty, um, almost at a loss for words, to be honest with you. Had a smile on my face, seemingly after every turn. Oops. Oh, that first one was in. I thought it was a treble one. Good little 125 to start though. But you know what? For all you veteran players out there, ones that have been playing for years, you you know, the ones that have always claimed to want to try lighter darts, highly recommend these things. First of all, if you end up hating them, you're only out 20 bucks. So not a huge loss there. I mean, look at this, just so effortless to throw and there is a pre, oh, my shirt's inside out. I was gonna say <laughs> pre, boom. Uh, it's too late now, that took too long to do that. Yeah, look at that though. Boom, boom, boom. Unreal these darts are. Honest to God, that's how it was going in a warm up. so. But yeah, what can I say? I mean, to be honest, not a lot to say with a straight barrel multi-ring dart, but Again, for all you guys that wanted to try a lighter dart, even for the new players out there, I just recommend trying something maybe you normally wouldn't try. Oh, I did that in my last video. I threw a 180, backed it up with crap. Did the same thing there. But yeah, new players, definitely, um, definitely try something out of the ordinary. And keep in mind, guys, there's a lot of world champions out there that have used lighter darts. Man, unreal, look at that, 125. So who we got? We got um, Ted Hankey, 14 grams. You've got uh, Stephen Bunting, he used a uh, 12 gram dart. Dennis Priestley, 15 gram dart. So yeah, there's a ton of players out there. I mean, I, did, I know I only named three. You've got former PDC number one, Colin Lloyd, I believe he used a 17 gram dart. Can I sneak one in? Oh, I should have gone for a cover. Bobby Anderson, what he used? 18 to uh, 20 grams later on in his career. So yeah, I guess basically what I'm saying is don't discount lightweight darts. Worth a try anyway. And especially, they're cheap. Uh-oh. See? That's a cover shot for me. I'm kind of blocked. But, hey, I got a cheap deflection. We'll end it with a bullseye. Oh! <clears throat> Man, these things are awesome. I don't know what the average is up there, but... Unreal. Honest to God, guys, the last three, four minutes before I just hit record, that's how they were flying. They were flying incredibly well. So, hey, come here. Come here. Hey, look who came to just visit, too. And she's better. For all those that have been, for all those that have been asking, she had like a, um, a kidney infection, not a kidney infection, a, a bladder. That's not what I'm trying to say. But she had a urinary tract infection, but she's better now. She's all medicined up, good to go. But there we go, guys. I do have one more clip for you, and it looked a lot like that second throw. So hope you enjoy it. That was a fun video. I really did enjoy that one. It would help if I put tridents on all darts. Wow. That was right on the bottom wire, that first one. Wow, just as easy as that. Get in. Boom. 
<laughs> that was a very not enthusiastic boom. But hey, yeah, actually I'm pretty happy because I've been recording for 135, 136, 137. That was a quick one, guys. Super easy to pin a 180 with these darts. Like I said, these were my match darts back in um, late 2008, early 2009. Rocked these things for quite a while. So hope you guys enjoyed the close-up look and the review of the No Door Series 800 darts. I'm not really sure where you can buy these right now. I know that Darts Corner has them under the designer brand, although they're not quite the same, so not really sure who makes those. I did buy these at Pure Darts. I'll have a link down there. Hopefully they'll be back in stock pretty soon. I don't know. Unsure of when they're going to be back in stock. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you did enjoy the video, thumbs up are always appreciated here. So until next time, guys, we will see you on the next video. Later.